Welcome back. Today, I am so excited to be joined by my friend Charlie. We are drawing the ocean, and um, our project couldn't be more different. He is rendering a 3D version of a peninsula using a lot of coding and a new software that I haven't even heard of. So that's going to be real good. And then I am just drawing a digital painting of a coral system today, but in the next video, I'm going to be doing two more digital paintings of ocean. Um, get excited. Super different, super good. Hey Jeremy, thanks for having me on. So kicking it off, my project takes a very different approach uh, by taking something uh, kind of familiar and realistic and uh, attracting it. So uh, the idea is to take a location anywhere in the world and capture the movement and texture of uh, the topography and the color that nature has to present. And so naturally, I use Google Maps and choose a particular location to a few criteria on model detail. I'll spare most of the technical details, but this is done essentially by using Google Chrome's GPU debugger, um, which uh, we can then extract the model and reconstruct it in Blender using a Python script I wrote. Technically, this process converts the model from a, a textured mesh to a PCL with colored vertices, making it a more enticing point cloud that we can then edit and render later in Blender. So uh, this use of focus color is enough to capture the form of the islands and let the eye kind of complete the rest. Additionally, the point cloud adds texture um, by delivery of color, using it kind of as a mode of uh, communicating the image to the viewer a little bit more. Um, some things that I kind of noticed while I was uh, rendering this uh, final thumbnail is uh, I, I wanted to have more frequency of nodes uh, inside of the ocean to kind of capture the color depth of the water just a little bit better. I don't want to leave everything up to the eye. The whole process of 3D modeling is a little bit new to me and uh, so when I actually rendered these thumbnails it, it took quite a few iterations to really get it right um, but I'm glad I was able to kind of experiment with something new and I'm really happy that Jeremy asked me to come on the show. And yeah, Charlie, you are so welcome anytime. I, I love drawing with other people. It's so much fun. And yeah, this has been a blast. Anyways, um, so what I'm doing right now, I'm just seeing and testing things that look white, structures that look white, and uh, identifying with the eyedropper tool if they really are. And because my background is set to the purest white on Procreate, uh, the colors that I swatch onto the canvas would just disappear if they were true white. And as we see, that's not the case. Um, so hopefully what I can do is create an environment and to draw way beyond the foreground, you know, create something that is going to expand, expand into the distance. I really want to study how artists create amazing backgrounds um, and make them extend back. And so, yeah. So maybe I can ask you, what, what background should I do um, pertaining to water and especially pertaining to the ocean? Do you think it'd be interesting to see some waves on the surface, uh, maybe a riptide, um, maybe just like a simple like lighting study of like the sun on top of the water. I don't know. Comment below.